In this video, we're going to take the section views that we just created and create a section view sheet set. In order to get to the section view sheet set, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to the output tab of the ribbon bar and you're going to go to the create section sheets button here. Before we do that, what I want to discuss is what we have inside a model space here. The two blue lines that we have outside of our section views are basically placeholders for what is going to be created in paper space. So the outer blue line is a demarker of what the ultimate page boundary is going to be. And then the inner blue line is a marker for what our viewport is going to be. So moving on from here, when we create a section view sheet set, Civil 3D is going to ask us to save the drawing before it creates the sheet set. I don't want to have a file moving forward that has all of the sheet sets in it uh, working with as we move on in the, the class. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to save this drawing as a separate file for us to be able to create the sheet sets in. And then we can come back and work in this file again moving forward without the sheet sets in it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go file, save as, and I'm going to save this as 086 sheets. And now that I have a file that is separate from my working file, I'm going to go ahead and start creating these sheet sets. So I'm going to navigate up to create section sheets. I'm going to click on it. Inside of the create section sheets window, we have our options again for selecting the alignment that is associated with our sections, our sample line group associated with our sections, and our section view group that we just created. From there, we have the layout name of the sheets that we're going to create. I'm going to again call this dev exec and then leave it as a counter. Uh, the new sheet set, I'm going to have it be dev exec set one. So I'll go ahead and change that. You could add it to an existing sheet set if you already had one. We don't. So then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I can specify a storage location. I'm okay with it going to my documents folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create sheet sets. Now, Civil 3D is saying to complete this process, your current drawing will be saved. So I'll click OK. And what Civil 3D is going to do is now create those sheet sets for me. So down here in the tabs where I can switch over into paper space, I can navigate to my dev exec one. And what you'll see in here is the template file that we chose as our border for when we created our section views has now been populated inside of our paper space. And so we can have all of the information based on that template. So our general notes, our revisions and issues. So if you have a template file that you use for your work, you'll use that and then it will populate your standard border for your work. So the thing to note is that you'll see that everything populated inside of this viewport window very nicely. The reason why it did it this way is because when we created the section view sheets, we had our annotation scale set to our sheet scale. If you have your annotation scale set differently than your sheet scale, what you're going to notice happening is that those blue lines that I said won't show up will actually show up inside this because these won't be scaled appropriately. But because we did scale it, or we have our annotation scale set up appropriately, everything's working out fine. 